What's up guys, Sailor here, and we're back with, you know, a bit of a discussion. And this is going to be on something that's been data mined from the 5.4 PTR. And I find it very strange and interesting. So basically, Wowhead and MMO Champion a while ago, well, a weekish ago, data mined some epic items that were Hellscream named items that had the flag on them, you know, sword, whatever, and had bind on account. And at the time, it didn't have any of this, like, requires 90 to 100 crap. It was just, like, an epic with bind on account. And I just seen it, and I was like, oh, it's, you know, it's PTR. It's probably just some form of tooltip error. That would be dumb. And then the next uh, um, patch we got, MMO Champion updates those items. They've been updated since then. And they now have the color of a normal heirloom, which is, like, that bronzy color. And also, at the bottom, requires 90 to 100. And then that caught my attention, because that means they might actually be thinking about putting these items that come from Garrosh in as BOEs. Yeah, Blizzard. Um, yeah, normally, normally I'm against the naysayers saying, you know, Gabe's casual and stuff like that, but this change, if they, well, not change, but this idea we'll call it. If this actually goes live like that, um, I feel it's it's a pretty dumb or poor like idea in my opinion. So I'm going to go over the pros and cons and the different worries and things like that I have about these items and you guys can let me know what you think about it in the, the comments below. But first of all, um, Ghostcrawler hasn't said anything about these items. He's been tweeted, I've tweeted at him, all like those kind of things. And the only response he gave was someone said, are you looking to talk about the, the new heirloom items that have been data mined? And all he said was, nope. Nope. So that means, that that's the worry inside. Normally when it's something that they're not like, you know, it's a bug or something they're trying out, the user like, oh, well, PTR is PTR, not everything you see is legit. But with that, he's kind of like, well, no, not, nothing to say at the moment. So that means potentially they are thinking about um, adding him. I don't know about that one, but the item level is, as far as I'm aware, the highest item level that's available in Siege. This is the heroic version we're currently looking at. There's a heroic version, a normal version, and a flexi raid version. Um, if you don't know what flexi raid is, go check out the video on that. But basically, one of these can come from heroic, from normal, and flexi, and they're all BOAs and things like that. And as far as I'm aware, these are best in slot items. Um, I've not seen any weapons past these that I'd be like, yeah, that's what I'm going to use as my BIS. These look to be the BIS weapons. I mean, there's one for everyone. There's a one-handed axe, there's a dagger, there's a pole arm, there's a maze healing maze, a two-handed staff, a bow, a two-handed axe, a one-handed sword, a healing shield, a, a DPS offhand, and a tanking shield. So there's a weapon for everyone. Right there is a weapon for every single person in the raid. So there's, you know, it's not just like one item that's like, oh yeah, bonus for one of our, our alts. Now, normally, normally when you get an heirloom, you get it to um, help your alt. You know, it's meant to be a bonus for your alt, a, a benefit for your alts to make life easier. But with these, in the beginning, these are actually going to benefit your mains. So what I mean by that is top end raiding guilds normally take 10 to 15 alts and then the rest raiders. And they do that so that they can maximize the gear that comes from the raid. So, say like, X of six pieces drop in 25 man. If they take 15 alts and 10 raiders, then that means six raiders, if there's a piece for everyone, you know, um, six raiders are going to get a piece of loot. And then next boss, you know, so that they're able to give the gear out um, to the mains more to increase the, the chance of actually getting gear on the mains so they can gear the mains up faster. And that's what they do so they have that edge. But this is gonna this is gonna make guilds like that do Garrosh with 15 alts. Because if they do uh, sorry not 15, 25 alts. Because if they do it with 25 alts, then they can basically just whack down a mailbox, bam, send off all the items, there you go mains, have a full raid of gear, and you've not even set foot on Garrosh yet. And then they have six um, BOA weapons that are like best in slot normal if they're, they're doing normal and looking to progress on heroic. I mean, they wouldn't really do it on heroic modes because that is the end. But from normal, 
yeah, hell yeah, they're gonna do that because that's the the best in slot normal weapons. They're the, they're not gonna replace them till later into heroic modes. So that's gonna give them the edge, and that means alts are actually gonna start benefiting mains. That's the first thing I don't like about this. I it it, it really confuses me why they'd put this in the game. I mean, and the strong weapons as well. You know, they both have double sockets and the five seven four item levels. So these are very very big upgrades for people. Um, it's a lot of DPS you're going to be getting from from these weapons, so don't know about that one. Um, the other issue is the fact that sending the, normally I'm all up for kind of helping alts. Actually, there's another issue I just thought about. Um, I'm all up for for helping alts catch up. I'm fine with that. You know, someone who's new to the game, someone who's leveling an alt to to raid on. Allowing, giving them that catch-up method of like previous tier gear, I'm fine with that because it's previous tier. No one cares anymore. We're on current tier. Give them whatever you want from previous tier. But when you have the ability to give an ult a weapon from current tier, who could have never even have killed Garrosh, that's when I don't like it because that's when it does feel a bit too like here you go, you know. Okay, you have to work for it on your main, it's not just like something you can buy from a vendor, but even so, you're still getting like weapons are huge upgrades for pretty much every class. Like everyone wants weapons. Weapons and trinkets are the like go to weapon you know, like upgrades. People usually do what they can to get the weapons and the trinkets first because they're usually the biggest DPS increase or the tier sets, but you know. So with the fact that you can send these to an alt, like, okay, no one needs this axe this week. Does anyone want it for an ult? Okay, yeah, sure, I'll take it. Then you send it to your ult, and your ult's got a bam. Siege of Organ a normal weapon. There you go. Timmy Greeny, and he's in like 430 item level with a friggin' Garrosh weapon. Yeah, sure, why not? It just, it seems weird. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that at all. And the other issue I've just thought about, I thought this was actually a good uh, idea at first, the fact that they require 90 to 100, meaning if you're a hero grader, you can get it, and then you won't replace it while you're leveling. I thought that was kind of cool at first, but when the next expansion comes out, those with the heroic weapons are going to have such a big advantage through leveling, because the weapon's going to stay with them, and obviously a heroic weapon that's BOA is going to be much better than anything you can get through leveling. I mean, I'd imagine it would be. Why wouldn't it be? So that's going to give those who have it a huge advantage for world first and leveling races come next expansion, because they have... It, it basically, you know, I, I feel that's a bit unfair because, yeah, those people have worked hard that tier, but that doesn't mean they get to carry on that bonus through next expansion. And a lot of people who don't raid like to join in with the leveling races. You know, they'll do what they can to get normal mode gear. I mean, normally gear is replaced within a level anyway. So those who have heroic gear have a slight advantage. Um, but this is going to allow them to carry on that advantage all the way to the next level cap. So that's kind of... Strange, and then probably be like a good weapon as well while you're, you're actually at level um, 95 or 100 or whatever level they decide to do. So, that's kind of crap as well. I mean, not everyone who joins in in leveling races is a hardcore raider. You know, not, not everyone is. And there's people who win it who aren't a hardcore raiders at all, but they've prepared and they, they do what they can to make as much as the advantages of the, as they've got. But having a, a heroic weapon under your belt is definitely going to give you some big advantage during the leveling. So there's a lot of really curious issues. I mean, it is kind of nice to be able, to, you know, going to be able to send your ult instead of instead of disenchanting them, sending it to an ult, um, instead of it just being wasted, kind of thing. But even then, like disenchanting gear in the beginning isn't a bad thing anyway. You know, getting the the crystal for enchanting mats and getting the um whatever item it is to do the crafted gear. You know, those those upgrades are, are nice in the beginning. So, I, I'm not, like, I don't mind disenchanting gear if no one wants it because you're still benefiting from disenchanting stuff. So, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, I really think it's a strange idea. I don't feel it's needed. I really, there's no, like, obvious, like, oh yeah, that's a really good idea. I feel it'll fix this issue. There's no... There's no need for it. I don't feel this is like something we need in the game. Um, so I'm hoping, I hope to God, that this gets changed and maybe the rare drops. If it was like a rare drop, 
I wouldn't mind that as much. So you've got the normal items and then there's a chance for it to be a BOA. So then there's like, you know, every every kill you might get one BOA item. That wouldn't be too bad because then it's kind of like a rare chance. You know, you're not going to have hundreds uh, hundreds of them. And, you know, you, it's going to give like a couple of people the advantage. If it's a rare drop, I'd be fine with that. But if literally every single weapon that Garrosh has a chance to drop is BOA, then her top end guilds are going to have hundreds. Hundreds of them. They're just going to be throwing them out like Monopoly money. They're going to be going crazy like bloody Steve's ult. God damn Steve. He's going to have like 10 of them. Like brand new wall like he's just leveled. He's going to have like two. He's going to have two staffs. Why not? Dual wield. Is his friggin warlock demon things going to have the hell screams decapitator? It's going to be crazy. So I hope they think about it and I hope that this is either like a test like they're just trying it out for some reason, or it's not quite what it seems, but if it's a straight up drop from Garrosh, I am completely against that. And normally, normally I'm not too bad with Blizzard ideas, I can usually see the sense, but with this one, unless I'm missing something very, very obvious, I ain't seeing no sense in this idea. So let me know what you think of it in the comments below, and look out for more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching guys, see ya!